Alexander, congratulations. Thank you. It took a while for you to make your heavyweight debut, but you finally did. How did you feel about your performance? Oh, listen, guys, thank you so much, everybody, people. Дякую, друзі! Listen, listen. Today, Thursday, my manager, Agis Klimas, please. Аплодисмент! Happy birthday! I'm Phil. I'm very Phil. I'm very happy. You know. Was, was this the performance you were looking for in your heavyweight debut? Это было то, что ты ожидал своего выступления. Я очень этого ждал. Были проблемы в том, что поменялся оппонент. Я чуть-чуть, я об этом, может быть, не говорил и не показывал, но я чуть-чуть как бы в голове у себя так понервничал. Но тем не менее я собрался, помолился и сказал, боженьки, помоги, пожалуйста. И он мне помог, слава Богу. I was waiting for this moment. Uh, we had some little difficulties because we have to change opponent. Uh, I didn't show to nobody. I had some back thoughts into my head, but then I just uh, pray a little bit. I asked him, please help me, and looks like he helped me. Thank you. Did you feel any different in the ring as a heavyweight than you did as a cruiserweight? heavyweight? Uh, yes, there is a little bit of difference because, but I used to fight as a heavyweight, but yeah, it is some different. You were coming off the longest layoff of your professional career. It looked like a couple of times during the fight you could have finished it a little bit earlier. Did you want to go some rounds in this fight? Uh, because, uh, Как бы до того ты мог бы закончить его маленько раньше, но это было как бы у тебя замысленно, что ты хочешь раунд, несколько раундов пройти. Нам надо было боксировать, задача от тренера была боксировать, и когда придет шанс, момент, тогда его надо использовать, но не на ну, не, не по наглому. Uh, I did, I did what my trainer told me to do. Uh, I just follow the orders. Uh, we had the plan. And it was like the plan was to box, and I did box. And if it's going to be opportunity, use that opportunity. Does a fight like this make you feel like you're ready for an Anthony Joshua, an Andy Ruiz, a Deontay Wilder type sometime early next year? <laughs> Is a fight like this tells you like the next one you wanted to fight and uh, Anthony Joshua Reese Wilder. I can heard me say that. <laughs> Sorry. Этот бой, этот бой как бы доказывает тебе, что ты можешь боксировать с Anthony Joshua Ruiz, Anthony Ruiz Wilder, Tyson Fury. Не знаю, я просто с ними могу боксировать и все. Я не знаю, доказывает он или нет. Я просто с ними могу боксировать. I don't know if that this fight is going to show me whatever. I'm ready to fight with you. Man. I just, I, I'm ready to fight him. So we know you are the WBO mandatory. That fight's going to be at, at, at risk in December with Ruiz and Joshua. Is that a fight you think you're ready for in your next time out? If you going to give it to me, of course I'm going to take it. You've been a road warrior for most of your last few fights. Latvia, Russia, the UK. You're here in Chicago in front of a very pro Usyk crowd. How did it feel fighting in front of fans that were cheering for you? Ты постоянно ты постоянно боксировал по дороге. Латвия, Германия, Англия, Москва. Как тебе чувствуется сейчас боксировать где? Народ за тебя болеет. Я люблю этих всех людей и благодарю их и и боксирую для каждого. I love all these people and I'm fighting for them. Congratulations, Congratulations Alexander. Thank you so much. Yes, Brian. You.